Listen, man. As I'm sitting back just contemplating, y'all already seeing, bro. I'm I'm going hard. 2023, I'm finna go even extra hard. I'm putting a lot of stuff at work. So I'm lining a lot of stuff up. I got some new people I'm finna bring to the thing. Man, I'm about to go. Y'all know I always try to do something real big and explosive every year. And it never fails. Every year I do something real big and explosive that I bring differently to battle rap. It ain't finna change. It's finna do something this time. I'm getting it together now. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. It's a lot of things I've been sitting back thinking about, man. Remember Surf kept on saying he got the joint with Chris Brown. Remember he was bragging about that? Like, I got the Chris Brown joint. Then remember we saw them when they was in the studio together. He was on, I think he was at Chris Brown's studio. They was in there together. He was on Instagram with it. You know, I'm like, okay, Surf doing some big things, man. He's doing a song with Chris Brown, you know. You know, you do a song with Chris Brown. For the most part, you made it. You there. That song never came out. I'm like, dang. And then not too long ago, before he had left, I know he played a little snippet of it. But I was like, but he didn't play nothing about Chris Brown, though. He played a little bit of the beat in his part, just a little bit. And I'm saying to myself, like, why would he hold that? Why that's not out yet? And even still, why it ain't out yet? Now, since I see he indicted, it might not never come out. It might not never come out. One thing I had to learn in the music that, that I didn't even know about, I had to learn this, right? Because I didn't know about this. I didn't know. I was not aware that when you pay people for features, those songs need clearance. I didn't know that. I was under the impression that if I paid you for a feature, like rappers be like, yeah, how, how are we charging this for a feature? I charge this for a feature. That once they, once you pay them, they lay the track. Then what happens is you pay them, they lay the track, they sing you the music. I used to think you could do whatever you want with it because it's yours. You paid for it. You just do the little paperwork as far as like percentages or whatever that may go with the little extra stuff added in it, however that may go. But for the most part, that's your project. Because you paid for it. I was highly mistaken. I didn't know that ain't how it goes. Actually, what really happens is when you're dealing with these artists that sign to these contracts and things like that, and they major, they never tell you that type of stuff for the most part because they just be wanting that money up front. They be wanting that money. So they be like, yeah, I'm going to record. But you run into another brick wall because you can't release that music. So not only if they charging you an arm and leg, you're not releasing. You can't release that music because that music needs to be cleared by that artist's record company. And for the most part, clearance cost. Ain't no telling how much they charge you for even that. Clearing a song may cost just as much as you booking him for the song. Or probably even more. Because they look at it as though, if you release this song of his, well, we got projects of his, it collide with the thing we doing of his. Or you got to pay us more money. Because what we got going on here, right here, it buzzing so big, you trying to release right around the time he buzzing to try to bring a lot of attraction and heat to the song you just did with him. So guess what? See what I mean? That's what I think happened to Surf. Because remember what Surf was saying. Remember before Surf left, he was talking about, I got features with everybody, and I never paid for not one feature. Remember he said that? I never came out of my pocket and ever paid for a feature. <clears throat> Maybe you didn't. Somebody did, though. 
you ain't getting Chris Brown for free. Hell, Drake ain't getting Chris Brown for free. Future ain't getting Chris Brown for free. Rihanna ain't getting Chris Brown for free. You ain't getting Chris Brown for free. Not at all. Sorry. I don't care what you say. That sounded real good when he was saying it. He probably didn't pay for him. He probably didn't personally come out of his pocket and pay. Somebody did, though. <laughs> Trust me. Somebody did. Like, Chris Brown ain't doing free tracks, free verses, free hooks. Ain't finna be wasting my time. And I'm the number one dude in R&B? Absolutely not. Yeah, could you just do, do this me this favor? Favor? What's your favor? You want an autograph? Even that costs. I'm doing you a favor doing that. An autograph from me costs. And Chris Brown, you know my handwriting, that everything about me costs. That's why they ain't really got to pay for nothing. When they rich and famous, they ain't got to pay for nothing. They go to a restaurant. Everything is for free. I wish you would give me a check. Like, here's your check. Your check. I'm giving you promotion sitting up in here. Okay? A check? You better not bring me no check. This plate I'm eating out of is not worth money. This fork I'm eating off of is not worth money. This chair I'm sitting in is worth money. This Now you can put an extra price on that. In fact, pay me for showing up there. Pay me for showing up there. Ain't getting no free promotion from me. Hey, I'm on my way down there. How much y'all gonna pay me? I'm hungry. How much y'all gonna pay me to eat? Pay me to eat. I'm hungry. Oh, oh um, we could give you some. Well, that ain't good enough. I'm just gonna go make a call and go to the next place. They sell exactly what you sell. Hold on, let me talk to let me talk to the GM. Well, make it quick, cause I'm hungry. Okay, come on in. We're going right. That's how that worked. Somebody paid for it, though. And I believe that's why it never came out. Because they didn't clear it. Whoever paid for it probably wasn't aware of the clearance. Well, at this time, they probably was. But they had no idea. They were going to hold that song back so long. You ain't sitting on no Chris Brown song. It's a problem sitting on a Chris Brown song. I'm sorry. That's a problem. Them, it's songs like that that automatically blow you up. People know that in the music industry. In the music industry, when they want their artists to blow up, first of all, we can't go wrong with these two people, Chris Brown and Drake. Got to have a Chris Brown and Drake song. Can't go wrong with that. If, if we could get our artists a feature with one of them, nine times out of ten, you in. So you definitely need that. And that man got a Chris Brown song. But it never came out. And what was crazy, he couldn't even really play it. So that said something too. That's how come I knew too. You know, sir, very arrogant. Very cocky and prideful. He would have been playing that. He wanted that out because, you know, he liked to rub it in people's faces. Like, yeah, man. Me and Breezy. He couldn't even really play it. He couldn't even really play it. He wanted to so bad, they didn't clear that song. And now since he indicted, they ain't going to ever clear it. And they don't want no dealings or affiliations with it because they thinking that it may end up hurting Chris Brown's reputation or anything like that. So that, that whole money probably was just forfeited for nothing. Like literally. Now they could leak the song. They could leak the song. But even if you leak the song, it's still going to come back on them because they were the ones in possession of it. They were the ones in possession of it. And that's crazy. But I wanted to hear that song, man, because I, I, I guarantee you that song probably was fire. Chris Brown, Chris Brown, a killer on those hooks. He, not only is he a killer on his own music, but he also a killer on other people's stuff. And I know... Um, Surf be coming with it too, man. You know, surf be coming with it too. So I wanted to hear that song, man. Um,
I believe that's what happened, though. I believe that's why that song was never, never released as a result of that. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, and it's your boy, Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth. I just always wonder what happened to that. Do y'all believe that that song going to be released? Do y'all believe that Chris Brown and them <clears throat> label them put a hold on the song and didn't release it? That's why it's not out. But not since service indicted, do y'all believe it'll ever come out? I believe they're going to end up leaking it. Eventually, they leak it. But they ain't going to be able to capitalize off of it the way that they should be because it didn't get clearance. And because it didn't get clearance, they can't really benefit off of it. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. If it ain't my judgment, that's some question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.